Hello, hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I think we're all live. I think we're good. Uh, okay. Welcome, uh, one and all. Hello. Welcome. Uh, as you can see, we have. Oh, on this side, we have below me, Lauren, Miss Lauren Tom. Uh, <laughs> I forgot there's no audience to <laughs> I know. Just imagine. Just, just imagine. imagine. There's, there's throngs of people <laughs> just screaming and losing their crap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but it only says three participants. Is it just the three of us? Oh, I oh, okay. on the Zoom, yes. On the Zoom, on the Zoom chat, then yes. So what you want the, the link that I put in, if you want to take that link and then put that into a browser, then oh. the whole Twitch page will come up. Sorry. I was confused about your question earlier, oh, and I, I answered you know. incorrectly. I just imagine, you. yeah, just imagine 55 people right now yeah. cheering oh, you right. on. And then they'll, it'll probably continue growing, because that's <laughs> that's kind of what happens. We start at about a number, and then about five minutes in, it's just like, oh, they're doing the thing. They're doing the thing. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Wait, I'm going to add this tab here, and then can you still see me when I'm doing yep. something? Yeah, we can still see. Oh, do we? Do you not want to? You can, you can, you can black us out so so we don't see <laughs> if oh, you have okay. or not. I got it. Now, how do I move this tab over? Okay, so if I go... <laughs> oh God, I'm so um. Okay. Oh no, I don't want Twitter. Ah, oh, no. I, want I mean. This Okay. Your, your ha house is, uh, I don't think your house is very Amish. Uh, what is that on your on your it's left? Gorgeous. It's very gorgeous. Hey, yeah. It's a Japanese screen, Dice. Oh, oh wow. Very, very, very old. That it's is kind of huge wow. and amazing. It's kind of huge. That was the first thing I had bought in this house. I had no furniture. I just had that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's that. I mean, you got to fill it right, though. Like, I understand. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm sort of outing myself here, but I had... Uh, crystals because I back oh. then I was really into that kind of thing. So I had mm -hmm. these organic crystals and no furniture. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's amazing. I would love to be I would love to be among oh, that. That sounds wonderful. Back. Yeah, it's hard to sleep on crystals, but yeah. Oh, I would say uh mute the mute the 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 Twitch page because you're probably getting both of the Oh that's what it is. Okay, mute how do I mute I'm... oh I see I got that okay. Oh there you go, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and and for the chat it. and for the chat, just oh, as wow. usual, we're going to be uh, taking questions. Uh, we're gonna we have a lot of questions for Lauren, but we'll be you know <laughs> taking questions for Lauren. So if you have any questions, let us know. Yeah, let okay. us know. We'll, we'll it's toward, it'll be towards the end. Yeah. Um, oh, can I turn up Lauren? I will try and turn Lauren up a little bit. There we okay. go. Let's see if that's is that any better. Hello, hello, Lauren. Are you two guys single? Because I'm like an <laughs> orienta. They, they like to call me the orienta because I love fixing people up. Guys and girl, are you guys single still? Wait, I, is this a, is this an interview for me he is, or us? I, I, I am not. I am not single. But Mr. G, mm -hmm, let's get him. Let's we get him love. some love. We, hey, let's we don't want we don't add to start. Asking him that question. <laughs> Dice, was, Dice was not ready for this. <laughs> Dice is not ready. We're blindsiding him right is now. This, is this actually an intervention? <laughs> this is an intervention. <laughs> this is not, we needed Lauren. We've been talking, guys. Uh, Lauren and I have been talking, and it seems like you're a little lonely. <laughs> I mean, someone it's, as gorgeous as you should not be single. Am I right? Am I yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. A, you know, yes. dating in pandemic yeah. is actually very hard as well. Not to make it's excuses. True. No, it's true. And that's it's really not hard. the reason. <laughs> I don't think it's the pandemic yeah. at all. <laughs> but I mean, you can use it as a crutch for now. Yeah. I mean, the whole two years it took us to make Ghost of Tsushima, you were single. So, well, what, you know, no excuse. Yeah. Yeah. You don't I was have to out him like that. I, I went on, I, I dated a little. I wasn't like in a serious relationship, I don't think, but. You this can is you can for coffee outside. <laughs> so who who are your relationships? Uh, who's what's, what's your family? You have a dog. Uh, you have an adorable yes. y'all. I hope you're ready for this. That's my PJ. He's right next to me. So He's cute. keeping us all afloat. I have two boys, uh, seventeen and nineteen, and uh -huh. I'm married for twenty. One years, wow. but she gets 23. That's crazy, right? I mean, it just went by like that. I don't know what happened. Earl, what's your sitch? Um, I have a partner. <laughs> um, uh, 
and what? he's literally walking through the door right now. There you go. Hello, Parker. What's your name? Uh, his name's Glenn. Glenn. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You've just been, you know, introduced to the world now. Well, I mean, he, so he, he occasionally comes on, he moderates my channel sometimes. So the chat knows him as, uh, he's known as Hunky Wizard. On oh, the Hunky Wizard. Okay, so I'm not, we're not divulging anything new here. No, they, they, it's old information. They know oh. all this. Okay, but we, but we have divulged that Dice is single. So let's just establish I that. mean, I think they all had a hunch, but now we've made it official. And I'm so sorry, Dice, but this is this is your life now <laughs> yeah but the, the streams my streams is gonna be it's just, things are gonna be popping off though there's gonna um, be all sorts of people up and getting up in those dms it's, it's like it's like dream daddy in real life but i'm not a daddy dream daddy is a game that earl was playing, I was That's playing why <laughs> called dream daddy uh a couple like a week ago uh which is like a, it's like those old like like dating game, you know, like sort of like store, you like make choices with all these people that you go date, go on dates with okay. and like they can, you know, be good or bad. It's very, um, it's based off of like the light novel kind of concept that was really popular in Japan. I mean, they still re are really popular in Japan, but so anyways, <laughs> it's that's a bizarre fun. game. Oh, oh my God. And that's what Twitch is, right? Everybody's playing games. Yeah, games. for the most yeah. part. Um, it, I, I also know that there's some Twitch streamers that do like just chat, like they'll just be chatting or doing like non game things. Like there's also like makeup and body painting. There's also, oh. I know a friend of mine paints, he's, a, he's an artist, but he paints uh, miniatures. Ooh. Like like D and D miniatures, and and uh, that's a channel that exists as well. So it's pretty much whatever you're into watching, someone's gonna be doing and talking about it. I guess. I don't know if yeah. like the fans know. Have you guys seen Leonard Wu's art? He's yes. Yeah, we I, I've shown them. Yeah. We had on Leonard stream. on as our as our uh, as one of our as our first interviewee, and he he we talked about some of his artwork, and then Dice has been actually. Uh, rotating some of his artwork in for our like uh like our be right back screens or like when oh, we're starting or going in between breaks that's yeah. the best. this is so <laughs> cool how we're all kind of like connecting with one another and sort of yeah. helping each other too i mean that's the thing i think one of the main things about the this whole experience goes to tsushima that's brought i think joy to my heart during these troubling times like has really been the sort of support that we've had as a cast for each other and just that we've had from like the devs the the makers like the greater public in general just about you know sort of understanding that it was no small feat in in making sure that you know having such a solid asian american cast for for the game yes um, asian american talks are the operative words there that that is so unique and something that we're all super proud of yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and that thought once and for all about that there aren't enough talented Asian American actors. That's awful that yeah. that was ever even said. But but clearly we're building evidence against that. <laughs> yeah. Right? Totally. Um, I guess, I mean, we're, we're sort of, we, we've launched into it right away. So I guess we'll just keep keep going on, on the Q&A, Lauren. Um, yeah, please. So I have a couple of questions because... Uh, I'm a fellow Chicagoan. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, I was born. I was born and raised. I grew up in Albany Park, um, okay. and then moved out to the suburbs um, as I got into to junior high and high school. Um, so my parents live. My parents live in Vernon Hills. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, is that north of Chicago? Yeah, north. So it's like uh, up by Liberty, like literally right next to Libertyville, Mondelein, uh, Gurney area. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I, I was like, Park. yeah, you grew up in Highland Park. Oh, I used to yeah. go to Highland Park for Ravinia all the time oh, yeah, with my yeah. parents. Like, I mean, I, you know, Asian kids going to listen to or orchestral music. <laughs> oh, you poor thing! <laughs> I loved it though. I was, I was one of those weirdos. Really? Okay, yeah, good. kinda. I, I mean, I also just really loved like being outside in the park and like. Because my parents would be like, "All right, we're gonna listen to some music. You can run around." <laughs> like, and like me and my brother would just. <laughs> Yeah, they, it's culture. We we only made our kids listen to Bruce Springsteen in this house. So they're, they're man, I that. wish I I wish my parents listened to Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh I'm my a, gosh, so he's from up, Illinois. Okay. Yeah. So let me ask you then, because for me, we were the only Asian family in the whole town. Yeah. So was it like that for you when you were it, growing up? It was it was slightly different. So Albany Park, my, my Albany Park is also very Jewish as well, like Highland oh Park, my gosh. which I think is a really funny thing. Oh, um, so did, did you ever go to any bar mitzvahs? More than you could possibly <laughs> imagine. I mean, I'm sure you can imagine actually. But no, so hey. one of the things that happened with my bar, bar, bar slash bat mitzvahs that I, I ended up going to a lot because a lot of my friends had younger siblings and oh, they would be allowed to invite one or two of their friends to deal oh with, like, to like hang out so that they wouldn't be, you know, bored at the party or dealing with like 13 year olds when they were like 15, 16. And so I was that. I was normally that friend because I had been to so, so many and I had been to Satyrs and I'd been, you know, like, so oh it was this thing where I'm like, like, Earl knows what's going on. Like, just Earl, can you come? I, I do not want to be with these kids. Is that it? And I was like, all right, whatever. Free food and dancing. <laughs> oh my God. Cause I know the whole Baruch Hattad and Oil and Hey New Prayer because I've been to so many. I mean, but they were... <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my we have our own little synagogue going right here. But the problem is, for me, I don't know if it was like this for you, because, you know, you're so much younger, but they were three hours long. I mean, that's I don't think that's, I don't think that's, I don't think they're allowed to change that. <laughs> well, no, there are like modified ones now. Oh, really? Not. Oh, man. I remember, like, I remember when I was a kid, I was like, okay, Earl, we just have to, we get through this. We, ha we get through this three hour session and then there's going to be a DJ and then you're going to be running <laughs> around. You get to lift up your best friend up in that chair. We're going to be <laughs> screaming. And like, I was, I was like, okay, just sit through this. It's okay. You're going to learn as much as possible. What, you know, like, what is this? We, they're, they're holding those scrolls. I like it. That lady is singing really well. I'm into it. Like, <laughs> oh, wow. I had no idea we had that in common. <laughs> Dice looks like he's never been to a bar mitzvah. I know, Dice. No, so I've never bad. been. Yeah, that's okay. No. Yeah. Well, except for, except for as a party clown, but that's not, that doesn't really count. But for working the bar mitzvah. Working the yeah, bar mitzvah. That's, bar a whole mitzvah. Other, that's a whole other world. I love it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So funny. I had no idea. Oh, man. So is that where you is that where you started uh, acting from Chicago? Or? I started dancing in Chicago. So oh. I, when I was young, because I got so many Ching Chong Chinaman comments, I oh, was yes. super super shy. So I just went inward, and dancing was perfect because I could express myself, but I didn't have to talk. Mm. So it was kind of like the perfect expression for me. And I didn't ha I don't have any. Uh, talent whatsoever on the left side of my brain I'm all right side and so, like, <laughs> dancing creativity you know but no math no science I'm like was not your typical stereotype of an Asian kid like, <laughs> bad at all those subjects but I was good at drawing and I was good at dancing and so I just poured all of my frustration and my kind of like shame into a uh, dance class and so I was there from about three in the afternoon all the way till about 10 p.m. every day wow. and, and i became a really good dancer wow and all kinds of different styles of dancing like ballet yeah. modern well, i had to take ballet just because that's the foundation but i really hated ballet but i really mm. love jazz and yes. so wait what was it sorry jazz, yeah, jazz, jazz of course yeah jazz I, not tap but just jazz hands and um jazz <laughs> modern and then um um, the Broadway show, of course, line came through Chicago and my friends dragged me there. I was 17 years old and wow. I couldn't sing and I couldn't act. I, I, I was so freaking shy that I kept inching towards the wings every, <laughs> like, every oh, line yeah. that I sang till I was practically off stage. <laughs> and, um, but, but I was such a good dancer that they took me. And wow. so then I toured with the, that show for a year and then I moved and did it on Broadway for another two years. And I was, wow. you know, young and my poor parents, because now that I'm a parent with a 17 year old and a 19 year old, I can't imagine having my girl move to Manhattan by herself at that age. And, and yeah. so I really have to take my hat off to my, my mom who, who worked and worked on my dad to let me do that because my dad was super traditional. Yeah. So I, oh. that's my question was, so how did, how did that whole pro like, when were you pretty dead set on on being a professional dancer or were you dead set on being a professional performer 
Well, you know what? The chorus line helped me in so many ways because my castmates told me you should really study acting because otherwise you'll be done by the time you're 35. Like being a, a, an athlete, you're kind yeah. of done. Right? Mm -hmm. So that was the best advice. And so I started taking acting lessons at the neighborhood playhouse. And, oh, and, fantastic. Yeah. And then I just started, and then I just transitioned into acting because I realized how much easier it is <laughs> on your <body. laughs> And then you went into voiceover, which is even yeah. easier. Even know. easier. I know, on your body. Oh my God. I, was, <laughs> I, I literally was recording voiceovers until my water broke with, with my kids. I wow. <laughs> Nonstop, and and even like in this pandemic, I'm you know now working out of my my husband's closet because I mm. made a little recording studio up there in order to you know keep working. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's really one of the beautiful uh, aspects of the business, I think, because honestly, I've been in so like about '97 was the first time I got a voiceover job. So ever since then till now, I have not met one jerk the entire time in wow. all those years. And I can't really say the same for on-camera jobs because I've run into some pretty big egos. And, uh, but, but for some reason, the voice of the world just really attracts the nicest, most down to earth people. It's, it's really interesting. So if you out there, or, you, or if you have like someone, like a kid that's interested in getting into the business, I would say that that's, that's like the kindest, most humane aspect of our business. Like that I would let my own kids go into if they wanted to. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, that's, mm. that's kind of a, one of those things. I don't know what it is about it. But. And, I mean, this is one, a question I ask a lot of people, but uh, uh, so because you've done so many different things, uh, what, um, what do you prefer? Like, you know, TV, film, voiceover, animation, you've done everything. Video games. <laughs> video games. Video Do you have a about, preference or? Ghost of Tsushima was my, uh, oh no, that's not true. I was in World of Warcraft, but but really, oh. but Ghost of Tsushima was my first mocap experience. That was oh. wild. But oh. I have to say, I'm, I'm the kind of person I think that loves changing it up. So hmm. I love going from like a sitcom to like a super deep drama, to a game, to a voiceover thing. It's It really keeps everything fresh. I, I think that probably what all of us have in common is that we're a little bit like gypsies at heart. Yeah. And like the beauty of uh -huh. it is that we never get bored in a nine to five job. And, but then obviously that opposite side of that is that, you know, there's no job security. <laughs> so you're just, you're just looking from job to job thinking, I don't know about you guys, but I always feel like, well, that's my last job I'll ever do. I, no one's ever going to hire me again. <laughs> like it's <laughs> crazy how, how often that feeling happens, no matter how much you work. Like it. Oh, oh good to know. Oh, mm. that, I mean, <laughs> like sometimes my friends have had to, like, remind me to look at my own resume, because because it doesn't seem to stick. That that a lot of people have hired me, because it feels like uh -huh. oh, well that's the last one. So let me figure out what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, but, it's good to know that that doesn't go away. Uh, even <laughs> if you have being an and, and always having a little bit of that insecurity it, it's part of that restlessness you know that we have and, and uh but it also i think you know everything has its good and its bad sides i, I think that you know we're paid to be as open as possible and it certainly keeps you vulnerable that's for sure it's yeah. it's hard to get too cocky mm -hmm. i don't know no, anyway what it looks like to me yeah, uh, but uh, since we were t so we were talking about sort of the broad depths of of sort of project and character that you like going between, I was going to uh, play uh, for everyone uh, and me. one of and and Lauren because uh, yeah because we we're, we were just gonna play a, play a scene that uh, we see Lauren's uh, incredible acting as Lady Masako. So, uh, yeah, we're going to transition to that real quick, and we'll be right back. Have okay, a great. watch. Wait, can I switch over? Okay. There's nowhere to run, Sogan. You destroyed oh, Clan Adachi. Nice, you disabled screen sharing, I was only so I can't. Messenger. For who? 
Knowledge does not end. No, suffering. Lauren can't see it. You know or, nothing. Oh, you're, oh, you're watching it on the other. Oh, yes, good. Go. Perfect. I buried my family, one by. And those in the way must be removed. They were children! <laughs> Masako! He, he was never going to talk. We still need information. There has to be something we can use. Search outside. I'll deal with things in here. And we're back. <laughs> Sorry about that weird technical... The sound got weird for a second and then everything... But we got the main part, which is... <laughs> that line. Surely one of your sons must know. How? <laughs> oh. Oh, of course, of course. We lost some of their audio on, on our end. <laughs> Thank you. Do you support it or do you want it to stop? Because, you know, some, some uh, nicknames stick. And uh, sometimes it's, you know, it's not a nickname that you like. And it's like, no, I don't, I want it to stop. Uh, how do you feel about it? Mm. Well, you know, it's not a name I would choose for myself. But, <laughs> no. no. But, you know, like, but for, I guess, that you know, character, Lady Mazda. Obviously, yeah. in real life, it's not who I want to be. But, <laughs> um, but I love that people are connecting to my character. And if they want to call me that because it connects everybody... <laughs> I'm okay with that. Um, if the community awesome. decides that I... <laughs> I... I think that ship has sailed anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's true. I just put it in the chat. <laughs> Any exclamation mark. So, you know, I, I would say that's me. But yeah, um... and, I mean, yeah, if you, if you play the game too, or if you just watch the, all the all the the scenes it's that you know your work is so amazing and it's just, the lady masako is just so intense and she just uh, if Fierce. you're playing the game yeah if you're playing the game a lot of times like jen is like holding back and she just goes right into battle and i think that's where the nickname really solidified is because she's just she's just out for murder she just want to get it like done. every single part where i think yeah in the game where you fight together where we fight with you as the character in the scene you're always like take like it's I, I don't know what's in your AI like I don't know what's <laughs> written. maybe we should have, but like it's literally I feel like you're in my game it would always be you you would find the biggest dude and you'd be <laughs> like <"Aah!" laughs> and the greatest part of that is that I'm five feet tall <laughs> <laughs> so but, true but you know I I'm always all for like the, supporting strong women especially mm. strong Asian women. Yes. And, and I, I did put this out on Twitter and Instagram um, when there was that campaign about, remember when Kamala was being made fun of by Purdue and mm. it could, it was mispronouncing her name? Yes. Then there was a campaign that was, that was hashtag my name is. Mm -hmm. And then everyone started, okay, so my father named me Mulan, like, like the Disney character, right? Like oh. Tom oh, Mulan oh, is my freaking Chinese name. Wow. And you're, you're you're only supposed to name your daughter that if you have no sons, because, you know, she goes into battle in place of her father. Mm -hmm. But I had an older brother <laughs> and my dad was like, eh, I don't care. I, I <laughs> want to name her that because I want her to grow up to be a strong woman warrior. So I kind of feel like this makes sense to me in a way that I played this character because it was yeah. my only chance. Well, maybe not only, but my first chance to exercise those molecules in my body like I can do this like there, there's a part of me that has always known 
that I have a certain strength, yes. even though I grew up so incredibly shy and mm. so without a voice. And, and the thing about like, you know, growing up with no representation on screen, not being able to see myself reflected anywhere. But I feel like, you know, all of that is changing now with, you know, I mean, slowly, we have definitely a ways to go, but, but with so many more examples where the young generation can, can say, oh, there I am, there I am. Oh, maybe I could do that. Hey, maybe I could be not only vice president, but president of the United States one day. I mean, yeah. this is what yeah. happened. In, you know, just in my lifetime. So it's pretty darn exciting. It's a good day. I mean, and I got to say, yeah, I did. Yeah, today is very exciting. Uh, and I got to say, uh, I got to say, you played a, a big, big role in that. I feel yeah, like Lauren, like, Lauren. I like, I would just uh, like to give you some credit. And like, Lauren, I watched you on Friends. Like, I listened to you as Connie, like on, oh, on yeah. King of the Hill. Like, I like you as Amy, like, uh, like those roles i think you know as a young adult growing up while those things were happening like and knowing that there were you know these people that looked like me on these on the screen you know i think it, oh, it was really inspiring and i you know thank you so much like oh, I, God. you know what you guys your comments just now is the best part of being in this business to me it, mm -hmm. it means so much to me to hear that I honestly, because I, I normally walk around feeling like I'm making no contribution to society. I'm a <laughs> freaking actor, Ooh. which is like, uh, uh, <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, that's, that's real. That feeling is real. Right? <laughs> that feeling like, is I'm real. not yeah. hearing cancer. I'm not some academic that, that can offer things that I feel like can change society. But when I hear comments like what you just gave me, it makes me feel like, well, you know what? There's a space for everybody. You know, yeah. and, and guys, there's a lid for every jar. So you're going to be finding <laughs> your soulmate very soon. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Lauren's casting spells right now. Why are we going back? Why are we going back to that? Why are we going back to We are manifesting. Uh, well, manifesting. Well, if you, not, not, well, since you asked me a personal question, uh, uh, the name, so your name is... What well, is Mulan? Um, how is was Lauren always a part of that name, or did you? So Lauren, how did you, you know, Lauren's my American name, but uh -huh. my Chinese name is Tom Mulan, and okay. and they taught me how to write that in Chinese characters. Mm. You know, okay. the, the, um, uh, when I was really little, it's the only thing I know how to write. <laughs> oh, okay. Got it. But you just made me tear up, Earl. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I mean, you're making me tear. Like, I'm getting a little choked up just because, like, I don't like. I mean, seriously, Lauren, um, I think the episode that, like, seeing you on Friends, um, huge, huge moment, um, mainly because, you know, I think, you know, as a Midwestern kid, as a, as a Chicago suburban, you know, who became a sub suburbanite, you know, like, I think it's, it's real. Like, we, no one really talks, I mean, maybe some people talk about just sort of how, racially wild chicago as a city is and the surrounding areas but like when i was like it was an incredibly unfriendly place even when i you know and this was like in the 90s and 2000s like wow. like even when i was a kid like it was still like i was you know i was in the theater program but it was literally me and one other a like a, 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 another asian girl <laughs> and yes one of the other asian girls in my theater program is now eliza hamilton uh pippa sue and i went to high school together oh um, my God. <laughs> but but like it's it's just one of those things like other that like there was us two and then there was my friend Jenny and then there was another age like there were a, you know a handful of us among four or five years uh, at, at a high school you know that That's... had like 7,000 students <laughs> And then also, like, when did you come out? Oh, I mean, God. <laughs> yeah, so many that's... things to fight through. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, in, in high school, it was all, you know, I didn't even know who I was. <laughs> like, uh, But, you know, that's... processing through college and all that stuff. But, you know, I, I think that that's one of these things that in, in, in being able to see, again, like, representation matters just so much. And being able really to see... Does people yep. you know in so many areas in, in yes. so many areas and like you know like i'm not a young uh martian asian girl 
<laughs> trying to make it in a in a delivery world but i still <laughs> identify you know like there's still so many things that that i identified with in amy that, you know i i i wasn't dating ross but you know there were still so many things that were able to be seen in that's in those so contexts cool. that's that, so cool yeah 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 I, uh, <laughs> and this is just I, I just think it's i'm just really sad that they never got us in the same room together like literally <laughs> like all of us like like what, when we were meeting uh at park at the park like i just i, I dream of 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 a time when we could actually be in a room and actually working together you know, on a thing let's have a party let's have yeah. a party i mean we should have a party for sure <laughs> you know yeah. I, I really worked with I only worked with uh, Dice and then the the girl that played my lover. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> huh? The yeah. woman who played May, right? Yeah. That was the character. Yeah. Um, but other than oh, that, you know, I guess all my scenes were with you, huh, Dice? Uh, yeah, you probably. You with everybody, probably, right? Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah. I just worked with everybody. That's me. Um, That's yeah. Me. And we were going to do a party at Fio's uh, before the pandemic, but yeah, we'll get, we'll, uh, we'll I'm just we'll going to say, we, yeah, we'll do it at Fio's. Yeah. He, has a, he has a really nice backyard. Have you guys ever interviewed each other? Like, have you guys ever done one of these for yourselves? Kind, kind of. of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we, 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 we talk to each other pretty often yeah. on stream. So I feel like we just ask if you're wondering, I feel like it's more like, if you're wondering something, just ask me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I, I'm, I have they asked you guys questions in the chat thing too. Before? Yeah, I mean, I feel like at some point we've done. Yeah, we've done a we've done a, a proper Q and A with, the, with yeah. the community as well. I mean, yeah. we could do more. Did you guys know each other before Ghost? No. Did we? No. I don't we think didn't. no. We met, but. Uh, there are, you know, strands of people that we know because of theater and the theater world because because Dice works up at uh, Oregon Shakespeare Festival and I have a bunch of friends who worked up there as well. Yeah. And uh, when I first moved to L.A., my roommate uh, was in a class with Dice uh, at UCB, I believe. Oh, oh right. Wait, what was his name? Steven. Steven. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. So we, uh, it was oh, one yeah. of the... He, like, because my roommate mentioned, like, oh, I think I know that guy. <laughs> oh, wow. Do you know Lilan Bowden? She went to UCB, but I think she might be a little older than you guys. No? I don't know. I, I haven't gone to That's UCB. That's cool. I've not, I've not oh, done the, okay. the UCB machine. Um, I, I don't know. I, I've, done, I I've not done a lot of LA things, even though I've lived here for. Okay. No, since we're talking about chats, uh, maybe we can start uh, yeah. questions from chats. Yeah, uh, from the... from Lanan Jawa, uh, could the dandy dandies ask Lauren how she deals with imposter syndrome, even with her experience? Mm. What's, oh. what's imposter syndrome? Imposter syndrome. <laughs> like you're going to be found out, like that you don't really have any talent, and that everything oh, that you've done oh. so far is like just been a stroke of luck. Right. Yeah, how do you deal with that? I do you get it? <laughs> do you? Yeah. Sometimes, but I think it's more that it, it's a it's like a, a coming from a place of the opposite of abundance, like lack. Like mm. there might not be any more jobs for someone like me, rather than oh my god, I'm really a shitty actor, but nobody knows it. It's not so much that. <laughs> just like, I just don't know if the world will keep supporting opportunities uh, because because I did feel super lucky with that first one with the chorus line just dropped into my lap. And I'm like, well, how, how many times is that going to happen? You mm -hmm. know? Um, but it, 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 it happened again with Joy Luck Club and Friends for sure. But then you always feel like, is my luck going to run out? Mm -hmm. And I think... Because I, I honestly feel that even, you know, I, I tell people who want to be actors that the only control you really have is your craft. So to just keep studying and become so good that they can't not hire you. Mm -hmm. But, you know, having said that, even if you're super, super talented, there is some luck involved um, about Absolutely. like being at the right time, at the right place, at the right time. And then also, you know, like there have been so many times when I've um, thought, oh, okay, well, this is the job. This is the pilot. 
This is the series. This is the yeah. movie that's going to really put me on the map. This is going to be like over the top because I think it's so amazing. And then it just tanks, you know, or, or, you know, the opposite of like, I had no idea that Ghost of Tsushima was going to like explode like that, like it has and, and become so popular because I don't really know anything about games. It, but when I did first see the, the trailer, I just was blown away by how visually beautiful it is. I, I had, oh, I had yeah. no idea the technology was that good. But yeah. it's really hard to know. And, I, and I'm going to just like completely like tell on myself here that when I was first given the script for Friends, um, because I actually got an audition to uh, for the role of Phoebe. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. So this was before... What? Before, because later on, they just offered me the part of Ross's girlfriend because oh. uh, the director had seen the Joy Luck Club and they were looking for someone who just seemed like the nicest person on the, on the planet to kind of like counteract the joke, which was that no matter how nice she is, you know, that Rachel would think she's a bitch. You know, that, that that's the joke. <laughs> so they wanted to find someone whose essence was the opposite of that. So there's no way you could ever like misconstrue the joke. Yeah. Um, but, but when I was first auditioning for Phoebe, I was saying to my agent, this, makes, this is gonna make me seem so dumb. Um, I was like, I don't know, I don't really get this pilot. Do you think it's really? <laughs> <laughs> do, you think I should, do you think I should audition for this? It's just these <laughs> friends. Friends. And they just hang And they don't out. have a job and they and like they're living in this like fancy apartment. I don't, just don't get it. And then, and then, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. The biggest hit on the planet Earth. And then when they offered me the part, I was like, oh, oh my god, yes. You know like, <laughs> I kept feeling like, yeah, I don't know if I should slum it here. Like, you know, like but but clearly I have no taste when it comes to like what's gonna be popular. Um you know, with people. Uh, but I don't think any, you know, I think I think that's just a hard call for, for most actors to make. It's just a big, it's like a gamble. It's like a big yeah. nice throw, you know? Yeah, and when it's in the script form, it's very hard to tell what's, what the, how it's gonna live. How it's gonna look, yeah, and yeah. live, yeah. Because the people, it's the people that bring it to life. Right? Yeah. Yeah, Surely. so anyway. Um, uh, the next question, Alex, a uh, question for Lauren, if it's okay to ask, was there anything that re resonated for you on a personal level about Masako's story? If there's uh, anything. You know, a lot of, you know, actors need to use their imagination because, you know, um, clearly the things that we play have not happened to us, <laughs> but, but I mean, <laughs> none of it. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, I, I was afraid to I mean, I do feel like we kind of fended off an invasion. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really true. But I, I just kind of feel like there was a part of me that didn't even want to let my imagination go to the place that I had to go to for Moscow. Mm. Because, mm. you know, I, I would actually literally in my mind say, uh, um, tell myself that this is only play acting, this is imagination, because there's a part of me that believes in, you know, our thoughts and our actions manifesting reality, like the, the things that you really focus on, mm -hmm. you can kind of call them into your being. So like a lot of times when I would imagine something horrific like that, I would actually in my mind say cancel, cancel a a afterwards. So that just putting it out there in the universe that, that I don't mean this in any way. Like I would never <sighs> want any. It's of like this. a dispelling. You're you're making sure that yeah. you're 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 bringing it up, but you're also going and now go away. Yeah, because I really feel like um, all of us are everything. So all of us as human beings have the potential for extreme light and extreme dark, and and uh, you know that lesson I learned real young, like in my twenties, when I saw this interview, and for the life of me, I can't find it. So I don't know, maybe I made it up, but I can't imagine I did. But in my mind, I saw an interview with Mother Teresa and the interview said to her, how in the world can you be so good all the time? And she said, because I'm also Hitler. And what she meant by that is that everyone is everything mm. and that we, it's a matter of choosing the good every single day. 
in every moment that we're living. But to, to say that, oh, um, you know, I'm, I'm above that, I, in a self-righteous way, I don't have that kind of darkness. She was saying the opposite of that. We, we all have the capability of everything. And so it, to me, you know, when I'm coaching younger actors, I always say, this is you like this. This is you doing this, right? Yes. So, so you need to tap into the part of you that's, that, where that's true. Like, have I ever wanted to murder like an entire, you know, like fleet of Family. people? I don't, I wouldn't go that far, <laughs> but I certainly like know that I have that kind of rage or, or could imagine that kind of rage if anyone tried to hurt one of my kids. Um, and so I, sometimes anger can be uh, your ally. Like it, in certain instances, you need that kind of rage um, uh, in order for anything to change. I mean, like you just said, Earl, like Fire. look at our situation now. Yep. <laughs> like in, you know, in the Black Lives Matter movement, like this needs to kind of keep going in a way. It can't just stop now. Yes, um, I mean, this is, I mean, that's the thing, like right now, Everyone's, yes, let's have a moment of reprieve where we can celebrate and be excited. But like, <laughs> the work starts now, y'all. It's so true. <laughs> like, Very there's true. still so much happening. Also, those, you know, those races in Georgia, the, the runoffs are going to be absolutely key, as well as like in our own state, when we're trying to find a replacement for Kamala. Like, there's, it's, these are going to be absolutely key things that, will need to be focused on and can't just be like, oh, we defeated the Cheeto. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, no, now no, we need to just concentrate on those two Senate seats in Georgia. Like, you know, we, we have to just keep fighting. Because if we can get that, wow, that'll be something. Because, you know, that was really kind of deeply disappointing. Um, yeah, because I, I was talking, I was texting my friends, like, um, we can't go back to the normal like four yeah. years ago because normal is what led to this yeah right exactly it was very clearly not working no right the electoral exactly. college <laughs> it's like why would, he's four million votes ahead and we're worried we're still worried about the electoral, electoral college it's, it makes no sense <laughs> it's, a, it's a problem yeah that, it's that, a problem that whole electoral college thing that needs to go yeah um because you know the popular vote too i mean even the last election although we're getting a little bit too one-sided here because we this is a nonpartisan account right you guys um. <laughs> i mean i'm uh i am i i'm a pinko leftist commie faggot so i don't know <laughs> <laughs> sorry excuse me for the hateful language just <laughs> being really hard. Now. It's like it's like finding that voice. It's It's been good, this pandemic, in a way, in this political situation, because it's helped me really find my voice and, and to stand somewhere. Because as I said, I, I grew up so shy. And so, and I was raised to be really polite, you know, being Asian on top of it, like, you know, and Catholic. It's like, forget it. I'm never talking. But but now it's kind of like, it's just become so uh, imperative. And, and so the first, the, the scariest thing, was the first time I ever did it on Twitter and then Instagram too, like where I saw all of my followers just going down, like huh. 10,000 10, oh, wow. 10, people unfollowed me uh, on both of those platforms. <laughs> Maybe wow. they were the same people. I don't know. But that was a little bit scary. That was like falling off a cliff. A yeah. bit. And, you know, when I tried to talk myself through it, it's kind of like, you know, those people probably shouldn't be following me anyway, because yeah. this is actually who I am. So to just kind of stand where you are and, and be beside yourself, like, you know, stand with yourself. And, and, but it's not always that easy unless you're used to it. Like it's a muscle I had never worked. So it was like this flabby old thing that I couldn't even, I didn't know how to do it really. And it yeah. was really scary. I mean, um, I think, Laura, in, in your, just the, I think one, because of the, what you had done in the world, had an effect on me slash like you know instead of being a very quiet like scared asian boy i was a mouthy angry asshole <laughs> from a wee age and and you know just yeah like i i don't give me credit for that that's, that's no i mean just but but i think in sort of like in being able to see more people like us in 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 positions of of 
being heard and seen and being sad, you know, like short round is one of my big uh, inspirations. Uh, I think at, to be completely honest, like 100% like cards on the table. As a kid, I watched Indiana Jones, saw Temple of Doom, saw Jonathan Kikwa, like saw short round and I was like, all right, he's pretty I funny. Think yeah. I, think I, I think I could give him a run for his money. Yeah, let's oh try God. this. <laughs> Fantastic. Have you ever met that actor? I haven't. Oh my God. I would love, I would probably freak out. I've heard, I've heard he's fantastic. I know he, I know he's doing, he's working on something new right now. He was a stunt coordinator for a while. I know as well. Um, no, we got to get you guys connected. Oh my God. I wish I knew I... someone who knew him. Hmm. <laughs> well, I... anyway, we'll, we'll work on that. What, what was his name again? Uh, I think uh, John, Jonathan Jonathan K. Kwan. I think. Okay. Name. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yep. Oh, yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. So so um, that's so you guys are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have a, we we keep getting a bunch of a bunch of questions. I don't know. I haven't. I don't know where they're coming. That just there's a lot of chat happening. Um, really, let me look. Let's oh. See. Leonard has some questions, so I'm going to ask them, uh, mainly because Leonard has questions. Leonard uh, is on! I just came in, but if we're making a list of questions, <laughs> yeah, dude, did Billy do anything weird, Lauren? How does it feel to be part of the... Oh my gosh. Leonard, did, were you on <laughs> during the part where we were talking about how incredible your art is? And we I found were. out... I, think, I, I don't know if he was here, though. That. Were I you on Leonard? We were we were we were talking we were talking about your art. Um, but I have to say, in in defense of Billy Bob Thornton, because I'm working with him now on a show called Amazon. Uh, called Amazon. It's called Goliath, and it's on Amazon Prime. And um, that has been one of the most fun jobs I've ever done. And um, Billy is such a professional, and I learned so much about acting just from being in scenes with him. But if you are bored and don't have anything to do. Um, I first appear in that show in season two, episode seven. And all you need to know is that Billy and I are kidnapped and in, in Mexico and we're trying to escape with our lives. And it is just, it's almost a standalone episode. So you don't even really need to know much about the series. And um, okay. that was that was so much fun that we, we actually, he, Billy had written like a general outline of the scenes but then when you're watching that just know that my scenes with billy are all improvised and and wow. because he is the wow. master of being present i talked about dice about uh, this a little bit too that sometimes when you have a super difficult scene uh if your partner who, who you're acting with is really present your work is done because all you do is you get your performance by looking over there yeah. at the other person. And so I, you know, like I'll, I'll say it again. Thank you, Dice, for, oh. for some of those moments I had to do that were hard. Um, you know, he just was right there. And yes. and uh, and I don't mean to be a complainer, but my poor manager and agent had to listen to me complain because, Dice, you never seem like this bothered you at all but because you're just cool, cool as a cucumber anyway. <laughs> but I felt like because it was my first mocap game and I had this camera on my head and and then the the headphones and then these things that were velcroed onto my belt and and I I didn't know how to get things from stuff like everything kept falling off like if if I moved to the right a little bit like come on and, and I'm <laughs> dig deep in my imagination and come up with like the deepest sorrow of my life. And yet I feel like if I move like this, I'm going to just like, you know, cut, we have to like, and so that, that to me just was like, like doing this, you know, like where I had to juggle all these balls at, at once. And I don't know if it's always like that, but, but that to me was like probably the most difficult part about making this game for me because I just wanted to be responsible for the acting part. Mm. And there were so many technical things that were involved. I don't know if you guys had that experience, but I just, it really kept pulling me out into my head because I had to tie a, tie a hoodie around my waist in order to keep my plastic sword in there. <laughs> <laughs> so I could, you know, like, because there was no, and then I, I, I felt like I had to take care of myself by figuring out how I was gonna keep all this equipment on my body. Yeah. Um, for sure. 
Did you have that I, too? I kept, I would also get a lot of, cause, cause I would, I would move, like I would, I would be feeling something and then they'd be like, Earl, your, your, your cameras, we need to come in and adjust your camera. Or like, I would get caught on a thing and it like, it, I, I would be in the middle of a lot and like, I'd like step and then it'd just be like, oh, oh, okay. I, sorry, <laughs> so, sorry, everyone. I'm. Right, cause it's like you're, like, you're catch by an umbilical <laughs> all over. Yeah. From your face to your head to every place. I definitely, I guys? mean, I, I feel like I also just, I just being a big guy in general, like I often have this, like, I'm taking up too much space. <laughs> so I, I feel like there's a moment of me, like, like I have to, like, there's a couple moments where like, I, I would be like in the middle of a, like in the middle of doing a scene with Dyson and be like, and now I have to awkwardly adjust here. So I fit this way because I'm going to step over this way. But if I, if I move too quickly, I'll run into everything. So I'm just, I, I just have to like, I don't know. I feel like I, I, I was getting to a bit of like body ma like like space management tetris modes of certain things <laughs> yeah, like i have this relief. i have this tiny little postage stamp to act inside <laughs> such a relief to hear to hear you say that because i thought i was in my own little private hell yeah <laughs> i was i think i think my first couple <laughs> sessions as well it was, it was just like oh i I don't know why they hired me. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I keep plugging into things. I keep uh, things keep unplugging out of my thing. Like, ah, yeah. yeah, you're going to hate me, but, well, I mean, that's one of the privileges of being the main character is that I get to do it a lot. So I, I got used to it. <laughs> I have you played games before, too? Because this, this was my first cap. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me too. I've done games, but not, yeah, with mocap and the head, uh, head mounted yeah, yeah, yeah. cam. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I kind of prided myself in, like, I didn't really need Renee, although I, I love Renee. Who does the, who's in charge of the head mounted cam? I needed yeah. Renee like a small I child. <laughs> yeah. I would just do it myself. Like, going out, you know, you, we take a 10 minute break, we come back. I'm just like, yep, right, right there. Jeez Louise. <laughs> but, you know, well, you give us this much. Was it a learning curve? <laughs> like, you know, like, because, you know, or did you just come in like that? Like, no, oh, I, a little. It was a learning. I'm sure it was a learning. the first curve. hundred sessions. Now, yes. <laughs> but, but I would do like 10 sessions in five days, you know? That's, I, you know, that's a lot. And so. I did 10 sessions in two years. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so every time it felt fresh, like I was coming in for the first time <laughs> because there would be months in between. <laughs> That's a, that's a good, uh, that's a good, I'd like to ask that because you're so, you know, you're, you've done this so long. Uh, is there, what, what, what do you do to remember your voice after you've been away for a little bit? Oh, 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 well, that's, that's easy. Cause they, they yeah. always play a reference tape. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> because they know, cause you know, in between there, I've done like all these other things. And so the characters get really confusing in my brain. Yeah. Especially when Futurama got canceled and then mm. picked up four years later, oh, you know. Yeah. You had to, and even in King of the Hill too, that show ran for thirteen seasons, and um, Greg Daniels, who was one of the creators, for I think towards like year eleven, he sat us all down one at a time and played us um, a recording of ourselves at the beginning of the series, so that we could see how far we had strayed. From, from the character uh -huh. and it's like oh that was like so eye-opening so he wanted us to get back to the original because oh, my man. my voice as min kept getting lower and lower and lower <laughs> because, because my grandmother that's how my grandmother spoke and to me i was kind of channeling my grandma mm -hmm. but they didn't want that voice they wanted her to be way higher like like an octave higher wow. because they wanted her to be kind of more like passive aggressive in the sense of she was saying really mean things, but in a really sweet, high voice. Mm. And my grandmother was just more like saying mean things in a low, mean voice. <laughs> you were just going with what you knew. Exactly. <laughs> Drawn upon personal experiences. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so, so anyway, you know, that can happen easily that you forget. It all blurs together, you know? Mm. Like even yeah. with, with Matsuko, you know, like I, her voice is is lower than my natural speaking voice mm -hmm. but because I, yeah. I wanted to make sure that I came across as um, older. I mean, because I, I think they did age me up a little bit. At least I hope so. <laughs> because yeah. Yeah. Well, that was like pretty scary to see myself on screen like that. But um... <laughs> I mean, I think the blood kind of, you know, makes it a bit extra weird. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the blood, and then they made my, my eyes super dark underneath, like almost like raccoon like. And I mean, because you're tired, you've been dealing with this invasion tired. for, for weeks. Tired ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, and then of course Amy's voice is way higher. Like it's it just kind of like I I have to to me like a, a lot of times for my different roles the voice is kind of a way in if I can kind of understand where she's placed, it helps me understand the character more. Mm -hmm. So anyway. No, that's um, really fantastic. I love that Leonard is on. That's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, there's a bunch of Sucker Punch people in the chat, I think, as well. What? All right. Um, oh. Hi. Yeah. Sucker Punch people, thank you so much for creating this incredible <laughs> project from the writing to, I mean, it's just such a massive amount of work that went into this. And, and honestly, they, they like, freaking hired geniuses across the board and i yep. think that it's paid off from the success is no mistake i think it, that people can kind of relate to something that's beautiful and seems true and authentic and moving and funny and all those things like it, it's like if you had one weak link in that chain it might not have come together as well Definitely. as it did. so that's sweet that they're watching me um mm. Anyway, I, uh, oh my gosh. Is, is it almost we time? You, we, yeah, we've got, I think yes. this, we've gotten our. I, I knew mean, this would fly by. I know. I feel like, Laura, we, we've gotten to like a full hour. I know we were going to try and keep it short, but. Uh, no, 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 that's fine. Uh, it's fine. Um, I, I feel uh, like we've all been getting Zoom burnout. <laughs> I know. And I, thank you so much, everybody that's tuned in right now and playing this game and for all of your massive support on social media that that you guys have shown all of us, um, including, you know, the Sucker Punch people and the writers. And it just is really joyous for me. And so, so many people of color, Asian people have worked on this. And so you really have given our community such a lift. And so I'm so glad. Oh, can I can I just plug something really quick? Yeah. Yes, we were going to, before you left. I was going to ask. We, were, we, always <laughs> get a, we always get a plug from, uh, from our guests. So well, please plug away. You know, I'm, I'm always, I, I'm always fundraising for Homeboy Industries, which is based here in Los Angeles. And on Earl's recommendation, I am actually going to auction off the game that was gifted to me by Sucker Punch. And I had everybody sign it. It still has its cellophane on it because Earl told me it's worth more that way. And I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put it uh, on eBay in time for Christmas and to just know that 100% of the proceeds of whoever ends up buying this will go to Homeboy Industries. And um, so I just wanted to like put it in people's ear that, that it's to watch for it on Twitter or, or Instagram. I'll, I'll put like the link to the eBay because I had such a bad time trying to auction something on Instagram where people were like just trolling and then giving me fake bids. And I had no idea. I couldn't discern which bids were authentic. Yeah. So I think, I think I'll try eBay. I'm not really sure unless you guys have no, Better. if you do do eBay, let us know. Give us the link. We'll spread. We will spread that baby like wildfire. Okay. Okay. When you when you say game, which edition was oh, it? It's the collector's edition, y'all. Right. Oh it, like, let's be let's be clear <laughs> let's about be clear. what version of the <laughs> game we're talking about. It's a collector's edition that has all of our autographs on it. Yeah. So, and then it's got the masks, right? Because yeah, you it has got the mask. Yep. It, it has it has the those... mask. It has the map. It has all of those things. So. <laughs> So it should be worth probably something. Um, <laughs> I mean, they're selling it without without the autographs. They're without selling the autographs. For, those are pretty expensive. Three hundred, four hundred, a few hundred. Is cellophane more valuable than how does the person open it and play it? Then that oh well, but because they might not, they pro they might be just keeping it to collect. Oh right, right. Okay, well, just know this you guys. This is assuming that they have a copy of the game already. I don't know. That's true. That's true. Okay, so know that that's going out into the universe soon, and 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 know that your money was going to an incredible cause. They <laughs> they, uh, they work with and rehabilitate formerly incarcerated people and um, give them a job and get them back into society with a seventy percent success rate and only a thirty percent recidivism rate, which is amazing. Huge. 
because the government has those numbers in reverse. Yes. That, yeah, like 70% of people end up going back to prison. So they don't they don't know what they're doing the way that homeboy does. They should copy mm. their model, really. Yeah, yeah. But um, you guys, thank you so much for giving me this lift. Um, I'm so happy to see you guys yeah. on on uh, Twitch doing this kind of thing and, and just supporting the love and spreading the love and all that stuff. And, and uh, ne- next time we'll hear about your date. <laughs> i love it i love it i love it i love it right so <laughs> thank you so much for coming on lauren we appreciate you yeah so much. thank you so much thank you so much i mean thank you for your amazing performance thank you for your career and your life and all of the things i could go on and keep That's fan sweet. fan earling um i'll just fan earl for a while can i adopt you is that okay <laughs> so, I'll, have, I'll have four children <laughs> I've made it, <laughs> and then then we can like apply some nepotism to like yeah, yeah. hire my son. Yeah. <laughs> We're creating an empire. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care, you guys. Stay well. Stay yeah, healthy. thank you so much. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. Well, um, lo- that that was Lauren. Everyone, let's. I don't know. I wish we could like give her a hand, like a, an internet hand. If y'all uh, know, her, if y'all see her, have an email her on social media. Um, yeah, this was wonderful. Um, thank you all so much for hanging out. Uh, again, thank you for Sucker Punch and the game and everyone here. Um, what's coming up? Oh. Next week. Mm-hmm. Should we talk about next week? Uh, I guess. I mean, you can you? I mean, I, I, yeah. I, I'm gonna. I'm planning on doing a platinum uh hunt stream. Oh. Yeah, so, right. of Spider Man, Horizon, and God of War, and oh. maybe maybe I'll play something else. Oh. Uh, before Thursday, which is PlayStation with the day when PlayStation Five arrives. It's so. the PlayStation Five day. So it's like saying Which goodbye to PlayStation 4 games. Is wild, even yeah. Though, even though we're not really saying Even goodbye. though we're not, because I still need a PlayStation 5. Sony, if you're listening, <laughs> Sony, I've given you my face and my body. Please, I'll buy my own PS5. Just can you give me the opportunity to put my hands on one, please? Yes, I mean, I, I had to pay for it, but yeah, I needed, I needed special access from a friend. Oh, so. Oh, are you? Did you? <laughs> what did yeah, I give I, my body? What <laughs> <laughs> did I give my body? This is uh, this is why this is why I don't this is why I don't have a girlfriend so, so I can give myself freely to, for free to, access to the, game, to the games for free access to pay pay five hundred dollars. I'm not yes, even I'm not even getting paid. I know you. I'm not, paying. <laughs> I'm giving this. This is some backwards. <laughs> this is some backwards crap here. I'm giving away my body. <laughs> and We're giving money. our bodies and faces away <laughs> so we can pay. <laughs> I'm not even and, getting. I'm not even getting. I, I don't need. I can't. I don't, they're not even letting me pay. That's. that's <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like we have enough great games to play until it's we true, buy it's true, it's true. PlayStation Five. <laughs> also, I'm currently addicted, everyone, to the Sayonara Wild Hearts soundtrack. It's I saw that. So good. It's just catchy and beautiful. Anyways, um, I'm vibing. I'm vibing. Um, thank you, you all play? so much for hanging out. I feel like we're oh, now I'm just rambling because I'm just like, <laughs> what do we do now? I don't know. Wait, do you, wait. So, do you not have a, a game plan? Oh, I. I mean, I. I'm playing Death Stranding. Oh right, right, right. But you've played that already, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm. 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 St- I'm going to start over. I'm going to try okay. and hit the action, the the interesting bits. Uh, hopefully, I'll get all the road building uh, out of the way. <laughs> How do you build the road? I tried building the roads. That's too many, too many things you need. That's a lot. It's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of bullying. Uh, it's a lot of bullying the other, the other porters, the, the bad guys. Oh, Okay, and yeah, then, yeah, like, yeah. Stealing their stuff and then like having like like running off like a bandit. That's what I do. Oh. As okay. well as like like going to certain areas. Like it's just a lot of farming. It's just 
material material hunting yeah it's grind okay that's the thing so i don't know i i, I started with death stranding i'm i'm maybe hopefully i'll i'll, I'll finish i don't know we're it's a brand new day right now, everyone. Like today, I feel <laughs> like there's, true. there's a new horizon. Like, like these, this was me thinking in, like, you know, pa- in the past with, with, with trauma hanging around us, you know? Now we're, mm-hmm. now we're moving through, so I don't know. I, I, could, I could do something. Wait, is Joe Biden's favorite food actually ice cream? <laughs> is it? Am I gonna have to make ice cream for another stream? <laughs> Joe Biden's favorite food is that? I'll, oh yeah, is that I'll true? Make a, I'll make another. I'll do another ice cream. I'll do another uh, ice cream day. Yeah, Biden is supposed to do a speech at five p.m. today, eight, oh, eight Eastern. So I, you know, I hope you all watch. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's very exciting. Uh, there's a lot of memes going around, obviously, but it, um, my friend Jane was like driving, uh, you know, L.A. and uh, you know, she sent me videos and it feels very much like the end of Return of the Jedi. That's what it feels like. It's like dun, 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 the original. Yes, yes, Wars. yes. Dun, dun, well, how does it go? Oh, God. Dun, 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 Wait, no, it's not. So really right <laughs> anyway. now, I know that that's not the song, but the only song I can think of is the song that comes on at the end yeah, of episode yeah. one, which da, da, is da 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 Oh, that's a good one. But that's that's a different song. It's a different song. But it's a yep, same yep. mood. Same mood. It's that one. Anyway. That one. Anyway, that's that's yep, that's no. today. Yep, no, that's it. Yep, no. 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 God bless the star. God, God bless Star Wars. Has everyone <laughs> yeah. seen Mando? Mando, Sorry. Mando, yeah. Mando, Mando. For those of you that have, um, this is just a quick note. As soon, as soon as the eggs showed up, I said, "Forbidden Gummy." <laughs> I don't what. If you haven't seen the, the latest reference. episode of The Mandalorian, then. It won't make sense. If you have seen it, then you will know exactly what I'm talking about. It does not give anything away. All I'm just saying is that the first time I saw them, all I could think, all I could think about was forbidden gummy. I saw it, but I don't get it. What is the forbidden gummy? The eggs. Yeah. Did like you the... see the episode? Yeah, yeah. Because of the. Because I'm slow on references. Because you're not supposed to eat them. Oh, you're not? No. <laughs> is that a Star Wars thing or is that a... No, that's just... <laughs> I don't get it. I, I was just saying that... <laughs> well, I'm not going to do any more... No more spoilers. I just, I'll, I'll explain it to Dice when we're done with the stream. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um... <laughs> All right. Anyways, All right. I guess we'll call it a night or a day or an afternoon. An afternoon? We, we're calling it's an it afternoon. an afternoon because it's not quite evening yet. No. Um, <sighs> all right. Uh, thank you all so much for joining. Once more, thank you to Lauren Tom. If you haven't, follow her on her socials. Send her some love. Comment on, 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 on her things and tell her how much you love the interview. Uh, hopefully, we'll have it up uh, on our YouTube uh, as quick as possible, uh, so it'll be available for your uh, anytime watching, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> uh, thank you all so much. Uh, this is, uh, I guess, us signing off. Uh, have a lovely rest of your weekend. Bye. Bye. <laughs>